The Wolf and the Seven Little Goats Once upon a time, there was a kind mother goat and her seven little goats. One day the mother goat said to them, My dear children, now I am going out. Look after the house while I am gone, and be on your guard against the wolf that is roaming around outside. Mommy, is a wolf scary? asked one of the seven little goats. Yes, the wolf eats up little goats like you, replied the mother goat. Mommy, I'm scared. Don't worry. As long as you stay inside the house, you'll be safe. But the wolf is so slyly wicked that he may pretend to be me. Remember, his voice is hoarse, and he has black paws. Never let such a creature inside the house, you hear? Okay, Mommy. We won't. See you later. The seven little goats saw their mother off and locked the door. After a while, a wolf came to their house and knocked on the door. Open the door, dear children. It's Mommy. I'm back, said the wicked wolf. No, you're not. Our mommy's voice isn't hoarse like yours. That's right. You must be the wicked wolf, shouted the seven little goats. Oh, they noticed my hoarse voice, murmured the wicked wolf. So he went to a pharmacy and bought a lump of chalk to soften his voice. After having some chalk, he came back again. Open the door, dear children. It's Mommy, said the wicked wolf. That's Mommy's voice. The seven little goats rushed to the door, but saw black paws through the gap under the door. No, Mommy doesn't have black paws. That's right, you must be the wicked wolf, shouted the seven little goats. Oh, they noticed my black paws, murmured the wicked wolf. So he went to a bakery shop and forced the baker to powder his paws with white flour. Now his paws were as white as snow. Then he came back again and said, Open the door, dear children. It's Mommy. His voice sounded like their mother and the feet they saw from the gap under their door were white. So they opened the door with joy. Welcome back, Mommy! However, the wicked wolf rushed into the house. Ah, all of you look so tasty, said the wicked wolf. They were very terrified and hid themselves in a hurry. The first little goat hid under the desk. The second one hid in the bed. The third one hid in the stove without fire. The fourth one hid in the cupboard in the kitchen. The fifth one hid in the closet. The sixth one hid in the laundry tub. The seventh one hid in the big clock. It's no use hiding. I will find and eat you up, said the wicked wolf. The wicked wolf found the little goats one by one and swallowed them one after another. Eating six little goats might have been too much. I'm so full, said the wicked wolf. So he left the house and laid himself under a tree in the green meadow. Then he fell asleep. After a while, the mother goat came back home. She was astonished to see the house in a great mess. The mother goat called out to each little goat by name, but nobody answered. When she called the youngest little goat's name, she heard, Here I am, Mommy. He was safe hiding inside the big clock. The mother goat cried very hard after hearing what had happened from the littlest one. And when she went out of the house in grief, she found the wolf snoring loudly under the tree. She noticed something was moving in his stomach. Well, bless my soul. My children may still be alive in his stomach, said the mother goat. 
Then she sent the youngest little goat back home to get a pair of scissors, a needle, and some thread. She cut the wolf's stomach open, and thank goodness, out jumped all of the six little goats from the wolf's stomach unharmed. Hooray, Mommy! You saved us! Thank you so much! The six little goats cried out in joy. They jumped up and down happily and hugged their mother tightly. You can imagine how delighted the mother goat was. The mother goat said to them, Now, my dear children, collect little stones. We should punish the wicked wolf for what he has done. The mother goat and the seven little goats put stones inside the wicked wolf's stomach, and she quickly sewed him up. In time, the wicked wolf woke up. He felt so thirsty that he went to the spring to drink some water. Oh, I still feel so full. I must have eaten too much, said the wicked wolf. As soon as the wicked wolf bent down to drink some water, he lost his balance due to the heavy stones in his stomach and fell into the spring. Help! Help! I can't swim! Somebody help me! shouted the wicked wolf. No matter how hard he cried out for help, nobody tried to help such a greedy and wicked wolf. The wicked wolf eventually sank to the bottom of the spring. The end.